should be. Barcelona need a massive response here from their world-class players because Messi knows Real Madrid's never had them painted into a corner like this. All eyes on Alejandro Hernandez as we get the bird's eye view. Even the birds stopping to watch this one. Impressive from Sergio. Right-handed, but he's got a left foot. Lovely style, and it'll be looked to be mirrored by the white shirts, but you can never count Barcelona out of any game or any title. But they've certainly got to dig deep here today to keep off this incredible Real Madrid side that has been inspirational under Zinedine Zidane. And all of his critics have gone awfully quiet all of a sudden. two games all season in La Liga they've shown very very few signs of any vulnerabilities under him but they have conceded Phil 33 goals and Barcelona will know that they're going to get their opportunities it's going to be pivotal for Barca to take their isolated opportunities when they come Starting lineup brought to you by AT&T. The last in a Clasico, at least for now, for that man, Luis Enrique, announced his retirement resignation, should we say, from Barcelona. And it resulted in a bounce, but it's kind of turned into a dead pat over the last few games. Knocked aside by Casemiro. Modric under pressure, but keeps it alive. Good refereeing by Alejandro Hernandez, our man in yellow today. Allowing the game to breathe in the early going. Not much in that challenge. That's a good ball. Over Alba, met by Carvajal. Top of the 18. TT trips up Ooh. Ronaldo. The referee with a good look, but says no. Sergio Ramos, absolute brilliance over the distance with kaleidoscopic vision and found Carvajal brilliantly. In the first time pass from Carvajal, finds the dog in Vieira beautifully. That was very close to a penalty. That's going to be worth another look. Alejandro Hernandez seemed to have it in his vision. Well, I tell you, talking about vision, let's go back to a defender. Sergio Ramos, he has the end result of it. Now nah, there's nothing there. Um, Titi goes in. There's contact on him, but there's nothing that the referee's going to give for a penalty. He's got claims. If he got a touch on the ball, I think, Phil, and touched it, kissed it past Untiti, and then the contact came through, may have been different. Similar as Busquets appeals for a foul. Ronaldo with a burst of speed. No doubt about Untiti's challenge this time. What a pass from Sergio Ramos. It's got to be given full credit. That was the genesis of Sergio Ramos. Arguably, three or four players could be on the podium. Well, one of them not dressed today in Neymar. And Here's Suarez. His role changes without the Brazilian ray. That man on the far left side with the beautiful Afro cut. Marcelo is another one that is having a stupendously magnificent season. Good look at our players to watch on the day. Of course, Ronaldo and Messi. It's another good ball. Nice little nod down. Good pass. Back to Carvajal in the box. Chips it across. 
Rakitic dropping back to defend. Trying to find the head of Gareth Bale there. Lovely little stab ball from Carvajal. Although that was on the head of the pin there for Gareth to feast on. Inside, tracking back Ter Stegen. Benzema can't bring it under control. Well, straight away, Barcelona's defence. Busier than a blind dog in a meat house. They've got a lot to cover. Another ant farm attack by the Royal Whites. Right out of the traps. He's very close to getting that. Oh, he got the force touch. The first replay it didn't look as if he got the first touch, but he did. It was legit claims. Alba tries to flip it down the line, stays in play, soaring up Nacho, making his Classico debut. Oh. Casemiro, wow. hip check. Rottweiler on a little poodle there between Casemiro and Ivan Akitic. Still thought on the conduct of the penalty and Real Madrid fans will take one side of the table and Barca on the second on the other, of course, but there was very minimal contact on Cristiano. But it's all it can take to put off a player like that when he's travelling at that speed. Messi eludes Ronaldo near side Alba. It is a four-back from Barcelona today, at least by name, Roberto and Alba on the flanks. A few experiments from Luis Enrique of late. One play it. Iniesta with a stop-start to try and get away from Kroos. Iniesta at his best, beautiful. Alba throws in a block. Good cover by Real Madrid, three on the two, and they come away with it with Tony Kroos, and here's the counter, brilliant ball. And, and down again. for Ronaldo with the after jets burning. Cuts to the inside. The run is on. The shot goes low. And down goes Ter Stegen with the save. It's a wonderful attack by Real Madrid. Starts with brilliant cover. Far down the other side. And Benzema turning and saying, feed me, baby. But beautiful defending by Real Madrid. And the control of the ball. Two passes. And they've balled the field up. Take a look at our tire rack. Dot com keys to the game. First of all, Real Madrid keeping their hands on the steering wheel. They have everything going their way, but they're in the driver's seat depending upon what happens today. Certainly going to not take the eye off the game for sure. And they've got one hand on this if they get the result, but it's a big if. They have started like a Chinese firecracker here today and have been almost foot perfect. On side. Yep, it's a good run. Flag coming up incorrectly. By the way, that last one, Ray, as far as our tirerack.com keys to the game. Casemiro and Busquets, they might not be in the spotlight, but they should be. The ball is in again. Flag comes up to deny the, the British winger. Gareth cannot wait. You see, you've got to be stay hungry. He looks like he's just about starving tonight. There's Bruce Springsteen used to sing. Oh, that's very close again. Frog's here in between them, but he may have just got it right. Bale making his 100th appearance for Real Madrid in league play. Only the third British player following Beckham and Lineker to do so. Inside, Suarez bodied down Casemiro, and he's still down. The wind knocked out of him. Typical little classic goal start, isn't it, Phil? Right from the get-go. No warm-up needed. No dress rehearsals for a game like this. Real Madrid certainly playing the home advantage part of it. And dominating in the early going, but Iniesta looks as if he's got his. Beautiful feet on the right footballing legs here today as well. And the ball rolling the Merengue's way. Yeah, they've really been pushing the game. Looking for blood, like a pack of piranhas. Talked about how Bale coming back from injury. No such luck with Pepe or Varan, which means Nachos been in the uncharacteristic position of a regular starter next to Ramos, and for the most part, it's worked. 
no real distractions for Real Madrid, for Barcelona, of course, other than the King's Cup final. That's another pitch of a pass. Laid off Ronaldo. Benzema tries to return the favor. The big onus on Real Madrid and Zidane is they realize they've got one hand on La Liga, and it's going to be a long time. Been a long time coming. Won La Liga in how many years, Phil? Well, they won in 2012, but that's the only league crown that Real Madrid have won in the second reign of Florentino Perez. You have to go back to 2008. So that's way too long. That's a good pass again. Messi wants it back. Rakitic. Here's Alba. Messi on the inside. Runs away from the little Argentine. Perhaps toying with Kroos. Iniesta from distance. Similar spot. Luka Modric needed to get that one. This is a shot from the pale-faced assassin, but it nearly squirts under Luka Modric's studs. And that would have fallen beautifully for Suarez. This crowd sensing that this is a game of special proportions. They've seen the Manita. They've seen the 6-2 undressing a few years ago when this man scored the last goal. The sense that, oh, he slips. Benzema beaten by Piquet. Piquet nearly caught out with his knickers down there. Good recovery. And hashtag be in La Liga. Good play. We'll get to it in a moment, but Alba plugs it in. Suarez strikes. Oh! And it whistles wide of the post. Beautiful play starts with the medicine man, of course, Messi, with his kaleidoscopic vision. Plays it out to Jordi Alba. Beautiful first time. He pings it into Suarez. He's got a velvet cushion tied around this right foot. Takes the pace off it and then stings it. But Ilan Navis is reading his eyes. He has that look at the Cristiano hit. The approach to Cristiano's strike was even more impressive. Right, getting back to the question, despite being the hero in recent matches for Real Madrid, Isco starts this match from the bench, and Bale is out there as a starter. Good choice for Zidane? Well, the right choice? A hard choice, only time will tell. See how fit Gareth is and what he brings, because certainly little Francisco brought an awful lot to Real Madrid in both the Champions League game and their league games. What a ball! Marcelo tries to one-touch it in. Falls for Rakitic, who falls himself. Good balance on that far sideline. Gets out of it beautifully. It looked like he was corralled into that dead ball lane, but beautiful twinkle toes by the Croatian. Alba and Bale nipping at each other's heels. Busquets, get it, give it. Messi. Without Neymar oh. in the middle, dueling with Casemiro, who sticks a spike in his back. Well, Lionel twisting and turning like an alligator with an itch, and Casemiro is basically humiliated. Messi shows him it, says, Come and get it. Do you want to dance? Casemiro is beaten beautifully, and then the machete comes through. And he cannot run without his legs. A little early for a caution for the Brazilian, though. Yep. Touch back, and Umtiti will get there. And really, there's a bit of Russia blood by Casemiro, who's been playing absolutely brilliant, but no need to clip Lionel there. They are on defense, but he leads it shy. Novice out quickly. Short pass back to the goalkeeper, nearly made the pay. And we see this one again. His heart was in his mouth that time. Here again, sends him the wrong way. And actually his shadow as well. He's past him and he's off to the races like a teenager and a hot rod, just about to pick his pass. So that's a fair yellow card. Much made of the relationship between the superstars at Barcelona and their soon-to-be departing manager. Has not been a comfortable season for Luis Enrique, even though, on paper, he is one of the best managers that the club has never had. Just seems as though he's never quite fit. 
one of those things you call statistics that is inarguable, Phil, is the fact that Real Madrid under Lucio Enrique have consistently let more goals in with each passing reign of his. The goals against average has been on a slope down, none more so than this year. Unlucky by Gareth. Again, the run dictating the pass, but he's twitching like the greyhound in the traps. And can it hold him? Well, Luis Enrique, as you see in that grayish silver suit on the sideline, quite familiar with his match. 13 years as a player, five with Real Madrid, eight with Barcelona. Wonderful coolness there by Testig and bringing it into Busquets with Tony Cross less than two yards away from him. Well, you know, one thing Luis Enrique has never seen as a manager in the Clasico? A Lionel Messi goal. In a while. Oh, to Suarez, over for Paco, back to Messi. Scored a hat-trick in 2014 with Tata Martino in charge, the current Atlanta United boss. But since then, he has been shut out in six straight meetings. You can hear the Real Madrid fans telling you to shut up. Then. <laughs> Don't remind them. There's our Twitter handles. We'd love to hear from you. And of course, use the hashtag be in La Liga and send in your thoughts. And Titi back. There's Stegen. BK looking long. He has a gap. Oh, but he sails it over Paco. A bad effort either. That high lane there. Just trying to turn the defense around and drop it into that area. Just overhit by a couple of pounds. Game finally starting to, well, not exactly settle down, but go down a half a gear. Busquets lays it back. Another question from a viewer. Well, to this point, he's got to be given the chance. But four goals on the campaign. It took him a while to get his first, but he seems to be fitting in, Ray. He's been sensing his old Valencia ability for sure. There's been distinct signs of it, of him fitting in and getting a better understanding along with the Charua and Messi. So, Paco, another great opportunity for him to hit the high Iniesta. note. His 35th Clasico for Don Andres. Trying to pirouette away a la Neymar. Alcacer not quite so fortunate. Modric into the gap. Ronaldo oh, for Benzema. This is almost. so unlucky from Cristiano. It was on for him to take the pop shot. But I doubt if it would ever found its way through to Ter Stegen. And it's an intelligent little dagger ball from Cristiano that was, I think it hit the back of the heels of the Barcelona defender. Great run. Messi with his foot on the gas, oh. lays it off. Rakitic couldn't quite get there. Well, Messi, beautiful squirrel on a telephone wire run. And he's got it on his left side, Phil. I thought he was going to catapult this one home. He sees Rakitic fading away from his defender like tissue on a toilet roll, but Leo overhits the pass. Look out! Chance at the top of the box for Suarez. Scoops it around Marcelo. Driven in by Roberto, but straight to Casemiro. A great pulsating game of football. Absolutely seesaw football. He's on side now. Cristiano Ronaldo. Again, Barcelona pushing up right to the halfway line and leaving a cow's field behind. Here's this brilliant run from Leo. Beautiful and as usual, as predictable as a wasp. After a sip of Cuban coffee, they cannot contain him. This one, oh, what do you think? That's very, very close. Maybe a lick of his hair gel offside. And he has to, three men to beat. Couldn't get it past Bale. Good turn. Modric to the inside. He's got options here. Three making the run. It's a great ball. It's in for Benzema. In a low roller, Ter Stegen with the save. Pulls his oil trigger. Maybe up one step too quickly. Brilliant ball from Modric. Into straight, just like this one. Great layoff. And just missing the strike was Suarez. And you kind of give highlights of these players because it moves from one end to the other in a blink of a bee's eye. It was brilliant by Real Madrid. Almost brilliant 
by Barcelona. Brilliant. Got to stretch the English language when you're trying to describe these guys. Well, it is the anniversary of Shakespeare's birth today, so. Oh, really? Happy birthday, Billy! It's also St. George's Day, so who knows? Jordy's in celebration at the moment. Chance now for what a great Aldrich. Ball. What a beautiful, beautiful change of attack from Luca. Marcelo in for Kroos. Casemiro whittling their way forward. Bale scoops it with his left, but no one makes the run. And that will trickle out for the goal kick. Let's bring in the third member of our broadcast team as we take a look at this brilliance. But Jamie Easton on the sidelines at the Santiago Bernabeu. And the fans are giving Gerard Piquet a nice welcome, Jamie. It's a good thing he's a footballer. I don't think he'd make a good politician in Madrid. 20th minute, ticking to a close, out wide for Ronaldo. Benzema, the only man inside, drives it long with a stop by Ter Stegen. Absolute howitzer from Cristiano Messi, I believe, is still down at the other side. And they're going to put oh, this one out. Man. Lionel Messi. And let's go back to the sidelines. Jamie Easton, what did we miss? there intentionally I believe from Marcelo his arm comes up just for balance and there's no jack knifing of Marcelo's elbow into the face at all I think it's purely accidental it doesn't keep the red stuff inside where it belongs but Marcelo and Real Madrid being by prison rules here and um, I don't think there was anything intentional let me say from Marcelo Maybe leaning to protect himself just no, a little bit. I don't bit. think so. I think it's just pure balance. The arm comes up, and certainly as the arm's coming up, Leo's barreling through and contacts him. You can see as Here's we watch Ronaldo strike. Sizzler, and that's a good save by Testegen. This one, he unloads, and the slow motion replay does no justice to the save because that one is coming at Testegen in an absolute flash. Again, wonderful twists and turns like a cheap garden hose from the dark invader. Brilliant, wonderful balance, and then to adjust that balance and then unload like that. Special. Well, already from missing Cristiano. Neymar, and now Messi on the sideline. Barcelona short-handed, to say the least. He should be able to come back. The video showing that it might not have been as bad as it looks. Bale tries to catch that one on the floor. Another absolute amazing X-ray vision pass into the danger man. And maybe he needed to get a little bit more of an angle on it, but it's dropping over his shoulder. He does well to even hit it cleanly. Great pass, though, to set up the Welshman. This is a classico with Real Madrid in the driver's seat. They have the edge. They have a game in hand. But now at the top of the oh. box, Benzema oh. pushing it wide for Bale. Could have chipped that one to Stegen well off his lane. Rifles it over everyone. To Stegen comes off the lane and leaves it open. And that's what Benzema is saying. Give me a shout. Continuing Looks like to bleed. it's on the outside of his face rather than the teeth putting him on the inside that might be easier to contain touch back for Messi who oh. supplies his own triage as well as trying to draw blood against Real he only needs one arm to keep balanced Messi peeling away from Suarez cutting inside of Messi Casemiro good switch here's Marcelo good first touch against Roberto Picking out his target, Drives finds it. him, brilliant! Ronaldo! Oh, 
and into the stands. And I'm not so sure that he would have done better to let this one run on to the streaking Welshman who is in behind him. And I think Marcelo is trying to pick out Gareth Bale. Wonderful run. He takes a look and takes 100 freeze-frame pictures with that cerebral camera right there. Probably Cristiano recognised it and he ain't going to get through to the Welshman. He has that brilliant ball from Tony Cross. Absolute pixel perfect. In fact, pixels are too big to measure that. Look at that. Perfect pass. That's why he didn't need to control it. Bleeding seems to have stopped. Messi and Iniesta, a two-man game. Busquets surrenders it, but then reclaims it. 24 minutes gone by. Where did they go? I think we're going to need more oxygen. The great ball again, man. Marco Alcácer, but strips the defense from Donny Carvajal. And out to the feet of Zinedine Zidane. And for all of his attacking prowess, Donny Carvajal, wonderful positioning on the defender, on the, in his defense on Paco. Doesn't dive in, gets his position right, his distance and then just steps in at the exquisite moment. Good defending again from Real Madrid. Arguably the best right back on the planet. Yeah, I've got to be well up there. Modric. In for Kroos. There's a question whether he would be out there today after his Champions League heroics. Barcelona have done a half decent, more than a half decent job in keeping that left side quieter than what we usually see it in. And Putting a cork up Marcelo's nose a little bit. Benzema's pass with the slip brought down by the arm, says the referee. 34-year-old Canary Islander Alejandro Jose Hernandez. Not much complaints there. Hernandez has been refing since the age of 13 in adult leagues. In the top flight since 2012 and now his second season as a FIFA rep. A save again. He's been called upon today to make some really cracking saves. Mark Andre Testegen. This could be dangerous. Here. Bursting up the middle. Ronaldo back to Benzema. Stripped by Busquets. Just a split second too late. Benzema trying to get it back to the dark invader. Peeled away beautifully from his defender and just needed that little slip pass. It Hills. felt as if he could do the last defender. It's two against two, Phil. It's hard to deny Benzema, but Cristiano had floated into the way from that space and in a beautiful position. Messi with the bandage hanging from his nose, trying to keep the blood on the inside. It's in his mouth. And lays it off again for Busquets. Rakitic gets rid of it quickly as Ramos comes out. The seventh minute halfway done. Looking for Paco, but not enough. And still scoreless. Not for a lack of trying in the midfield. Wonderful St. George against the Dragon here. Take a pick. Who's who? Marcelo denied his run briefly. Modric looks the other way. With a great pass. Ronaldo. Draws Umtiti. Lovely touch. Carvajal for Bale. Great run. One what touch. touch. But there's PK to sweep it out. Choreographed slider from PK. Trying to tell him to compose each other and get the insurance around. That's fish shaking defending by Shakira's old man. First corner of the match. Almost at the half hour mark already. There's Stegen in the center of his six. Whipped across. Out comes the German. Got a touch. Marcelo back in the middle. Off the post from Ramos and buried by Casemiro. This time he draws blood the old fashioned way. To Stegen comes and flaps this this for me. And that's the genesis. They don't shift in Barcelona and Real Madrid. Compound Messi's misery here. An ugly goal, but it doesn't matter. It could be as ugly as a witch's nose covered in warts. Real Madrid fans don't mind. And that little 
Cherub. Sees this, Marcelo again, beautiful control, feeds in a beautiful ball over the top. Who's this one to, Cristiano? It's hit by Sergio Ramos. It kisses the upright, and it's millimeters away from fading the target. And Casemiro says, I got your back, and does the mob of work. Nobody covering the runner at that back post. They go to sleep, they forget about what if, and he is as free as a bird in the park. But again, credit this danger ball from who else? Marcelo. The feigning pass of this 28 minute game, and that's easy. Easy Japanese for the Brazilian. 44 straight league games with a goal for Real Madrid, trailing only Barcelona from a few seasons ago. Now they lead Barcelona. First match between these two ended in a one-all draw at the Camp Nou, thanks to Ramos's late heroics. This time a bit earlier, as his shot off the post sets up Casemiro. First opening goal for Real Madrid in a Clasico after six. Really sense that Barcelona, and this is stating the absolute obvious, but missing that dynamic of Neymar is a big, big miss, because Barcelona Maybe if been a little outplayed in this opening minute, this home field advantage certainly telling for Real Madrid, but Barca have been hanging in, but have they really tested Navas? This left side in particular, Paco Alcazar, been rather in the margins of the match. In a way that live standings, Real Madrid still with a game in hand, and that would practically lock up La Liga. And maybe Atletico with an opening to sneak into the two spots. A good play by PK. Lins Rakitic. Messi tried to thread it through. Too many defenders in the way. A quarter hour left in the opening half. The sketch intercepts. Giving Marcelo that much room in a game like this is like giving Dracula a blood transfusion fill. The way he picked out Sergio Ramos with that pass. With that much time and space, Marcelo will thread the needle every time. Chance now for Alba in the center. Real catching their breath with the goal in their pocket. Messi harassed again. Knocked down by Casemiro again. And the referee calls a foul again. All the sparkling footballers on display here, some of the best attacking players on planet Earth, and yet it's Casemiro, of all people, who comes in and separates these two teams so far. Here's Iniesta. As you can see, Barcelona yet to commit a foul. Maybe they need to get a little nastier. Our side, Roberto. As he retreats, let's go back to the sidelines. Jamie Easton, what do you got? Get to Jamie in a moment. In for Messi. The touch. Busquets. And again. Rocket to Next one three. touch. Messi strides. Really strikes. Scores! Ah! We're tied at one. Magic from Messi. Astonishing again. Messi proves that in the footballing labyrinth world that he is the Minotaur. As cool as a bomb disposal expert on the run. This is wonderful set of play, but how Messi slaloms through the defenses again. Ultra special. So many decisions to make for Lionel, but he's like a silicon chip with legs and covered with eyes. Look at this. Absolutely astonishing from the man from Argentina who is cleaner than Neutrogena with his finish. Wonderful control. He tattoos the ball to his feet. And again, he defies the laws of physics. He knows the laws of physics. They don't know him. Again, bringing this game level 
and perhaps a little bit against the run of play it must be said but when they need the inspiration it's the medicine man who comes out Messi just a beautiful goal as much of his control fill on the run is as admirable as the finish taking that at absolute warp speed and then two beautiful touches to kiss it past his defenders bad giveaway chance now for Paco back uh, for Iniesta and it got away from him by me. my count nearly 475 scoreless minutes for Messi and take a look at this again when this ball's pulled back to him one two is through Amazing again the artful dodger pickpockets the defense and asks for more. Could argue Real Madrid left themselves a little open to that. But oh, Messi has to burst Phil. through and now tied at one. There's maybe two players in the world, maybe three or four at tops that can take a ball like that on the run and whisper it past the defenders looking for another Suarez up steps Ramos 34th Classico for the Real Madrid captain and as you saw Messi stretches his lead as the all-time Classico goal scorer Marcelo Benzema on his inside Ross switches Marcelo pushing into that left winger position at will here. Modric! And what a stop by Ter Stegen. Back into the middle by Ronaldo, but it curls across. Well, either Kane. way, Modric, this is a cross between a sledgehammer and a rapier. Again, the distance means nothing to him, and power without placement and accuracy is nothing. But he gets everything right, and he catapults this one. And Ter Stegen again, like a parrot. In full flight. Uh, let's go back to the sidelines as Gareth Bale is down. Jamie Easton, what does it look like? Well, uh, this looks at risk. Well, this was a risk right from the kickoff, and Zidane said we're willing to take it, and he may rue that decision. And you going in, he wasn't 100% right. Here's another look at the goal again. Dracula gets the ball, he feeds it in. Lovely strike from Sergio Ramos. Tries to caress that one on the inside. And Kassim, look to him, he's got a wonderful target to hit on that back post and they flood in like a flock of seagulls and as you see the players that were offside but Ramos was not one of them look at this left right look at the caresses the wonderful touch for the first time thank you for showing us that in slow motion because that is not just prismatic vision by Messi where he sees through two players and the goalkeeper that is Astonishing, and he executes not just with prejudice but extreme prettiness. 1 1. As we said, that is arguably the best right back in the world, and he left him flailing. Jamie Easton, well, we talked about the fact that Gareth Bale starting injured, and it looks like they're going to have to make a switch, Jamie. score line Gareth Bale by the way just one goal now in seven classicos but that one did win the cup he'll have to be a spectator for the rest of this one Benzema sneaks it through nicely Ronaldo up steps from Titi down goes Ronaldo and he got the ball or did he and it looks like the referee saying his assistant on the far side correcting his vision doesn't matter if he gets the ball if he gets the player first and the reach in seemingly is across the player right here 
It's not even a challenge near the ball by Samuel Umtiti, just taking the running legs from Cristiano. Brilliant skill. He's been sharp as a porcupine's backside tonight, Cristiano, in his decision makings, in his beautiful floating away and integrating in between Benzema and all of the space around him. Boy, that uh, call from a substitute assistant. Jose Enrique Naranjo was supposed to be out there today with Alejandro Hernandez, but injured during the week. Miguel Martinez stepping in on the far side. And as you can see, the referee giving him the thumbs up for spotting the foul. Marco Asensio stepping in. Ray, I know you said no tennis players, but it was Rafa Nadal who celebrates another trophy earlier today. Longtime Madrid fan from Mallorca. Arguably the greatest athlete that the island has ever produced, saying, You might want to take a look at this Asensio kid. And Florentino Perez opens up the checkbook, less than $5 million. And right now, he looks to be maybe one of the buys of the century. Certainly one of the Spanish players that's going to be decorating all of world football, Asensio. It's Real Madrid's property now, and they've got an absolute Cournot diamond in the shape of Asensio. Vicente Del Bosque said he is the biggest Spanish talent out there right now. What a compliment that is. Play on. Chance now for Suarez in for Messi. Back for the Uruguayan. <sighs> Touched aside by Nacho, but only as far as Messi. Oh, oh and it's just wide. Again, once the corner kick. Kind of get his words out to the referee, of course. But beautiful play. Messi starts it with this beautiful invite into Suarez. Again, it looks as if it takes a touch past Carvajal right here, and it does. Don't doubt Messi. He has an interesting relationship with that ball. Back now for Navas under pressure. 1-1. It doesn't look like it's going to end that way. Casemiro in the 28th. Five minutes later, it was Messi to equalize. Ending his six-match drought. <laughs> Ter Stegen. A wonderful game. Mark Andre to Stegen really has come up with some wonderful saves to keep his team in this game and allow Messi to produce his magic for the equalizer. But to Stegen has been, well, probably having his best game in between the sticks for Barca. Volkswagen halftime show coming up with all of the highlights. Gets in the center. Messi has claimed a scalp. Can Ronaldo follow suit? Oh, he's certainly been hammering away at the door, hasn't he? Cristiano having an absolutely inspirational game. A super danger man. And he has been leading the lane as much as Benzema. A lovely combination between the two. Very difficult to contain, but Gerard Piquet and Umtiti just doing enough with the help of Testegen, and they've needed it. Testegen again, Ronaldo challenges. This one, a more standard clearance upfield. Reclaimed by close, Fries Marcelo. Umtiti in good position. Oh, what a ball. Scoops it over for Iniesta. Cross Casemiro. And then finds the open Messi who has shed his makeshift bandage. In for Suarez. Lifts it for Alba. Oh. The drop to As Paco might have been there. Asensio does a great job covering him up. Beautiful ball as an invite. It's guilt edged. For the finish, but Asensio tracking back in typifying Real Madrid's transition. Wonderful covering up from Asensio doing his donkey work and covering up and saving what would have been a certain go ahead goal. Sharp the day, Ronaldo. Whistle from Hernandez, free kick in the center circle. 
and he's looking for the yes that wonderful ball from Messi here's Suarez in and then the ball over the top look at this a wonderful cut away from Suarez in Asensio just doing enough to put his man off of his strike Jordi Alba very close to rattling it home 23 6 and 2 only Sevilla and Valencia have been able to claim three points against Real Madrid who are the only team in La Liga still unbeaten at home right looking to make a little history you talked about the fact they haven't won a league crown since 2012 and that the only one since 2008 but if they stay in front to the finish line here and win the Champions League it would be their first European double in 59 years so something historic on the line for this historic team a historic player producing historic management skills love the way Zidane's quietened up his many many critics with their long knives this team's playing absolutely wonderful and here yeah, this game is poised so precariously on a very thin ledge and it's high up look out chance to the inside for Asensio but he Tackle. forgot something Paco. good intervention two minutes added to this one Modric almost tackled by Alba and he needed to get there what a nice. pass from Suarez it's messy and he's got an angle and so you've earned the take off Real scrambling back fights through Casemiro's challenge and another free kick Casemiro has to be careful he's carrying a caution well, this is a wonderful attack again in this opportunities right and left and before Messi can pick out his pass his legs are taken away. Casemiro steps in accidentally on purpose and stops him right here. That's an intentional stamp, it seems. But referee doesn't see it that way, sees that he was challenging for the ball. Well, it could have been another yellow, and boy, would that have shaken things up. Free kick, maybe the last chance before this half comes to a close. Certainly think either way it was a gamble by Casemiro, but he won. Messi leaves it to Rakitic in for Umtiti. Top of the box, Asensio back in from Roberto. And out to the midfield for Alba. Zidane at the edge of the area looking on. Nice. And Iniesta spots the run of Alba, threads it through the needle into the middle. And this could be a problem. It looks like Nacho, as he parried the ball out for a corner, is hurt. And they don't have another center back out there. His knee seems to buckle as he lands. Well, it's not, I think, as he lands, but as, he, as the leg comes in and tries to balance himself. It may have been a hyperextension, but he's bounced up. Rim is a matador. Talked about Real Madrid being the best team when it comes to set play goals. Barcelona not that far behind him with 20. Rakitic oh! almost novice. Messi at the back post couldn't guide it in. Well, Messi, like a ghost in a thick Scottish fog, appears out of nowhere. He peels away from Marcelo, like skin on a tangerine, and he kind of put this one into the open, empty net. 1-1 at the half.
233rd official Clasico. Real Madrid and Barcelona tied at one. And this match brought to you by Volkswagen. Real Madrid 23 6 and 2 with 75 points. Barcelona 22 6 and 4 with 72. They would draw level even with Real Madrid's game in hand. But should Real Madrid win, in many ways the title slips away. Bale's injury, one of the stories. Marco Asensio, the 21 year old phenom, has been stepped in, has stepped in to replace him. You know, Messi, even though blood was pouring from his mouth, refused to stay out. And shortly thereafter, scored the equalizing goal, his 30th of the season. Just moments away from the start of the second half. Second half underway. Real Madrid, the goal just prior to the half hour. Lionel Messi would equalize just after. And another 45 minutes to go. Phil Shane, Ray Hudson with you. Jose Hernandez, Pablo Marino on our Spanish language side. And again, Ray, whether you're at one of the Peña celebrations and the skyscrapers of Los Angeles, whether you're at our watch party in New York City with your favorite beverage in hand or on the couch in your very own living room, welcome aboard. And boy, has this lived up to billing. It's been an absolutely brilliant Classico living up to its full name. And as we saw those beautiful pictures from Thessalonica in France, in Greece, excuse me, those wonderful refugees enjoying the moment. And as you say, Phil, all the Peñas across our great land, from California to Florida to New York and everywhere else in between, welcome aboard. Well, here's Rakitic, beaten to the ball by Toni Kroos. Lungs of iron for the German midfielder. Although Sergio Roberto showing some steel. It's a great ball from PK asking Messi a serious question, and Messi answers it the way only he can. Asensio. Burst of speed for the 21 year old. Oh, he's got options in the back. Sends it wide for Carvajal. Oh. And a two hit off of PK that somehow goes wide. Wonderful decision by Asensio. He's got the dark invader and Benzema begging for the ball on the inside of him. He says, I see you, lads. I don't need you right now, but get ready for this ball. Delivered almost impeccably by Carvajal. But again, brilliant intervention by Gerard Piquet. He's done that a number of times in the game, having a storm at the number three. Ripped inside, cleared away. Messi inside the box, headed the wrong direction. And in fact, it's stolen away by Rakitic. Oh. Aldrich wants it, but he goes center for Casemiro. Real Madrid in front, but history, if it's to be a guide, says this is maybe not must win, but must not lose. Only four times in the history of the game has a team lost a classical home leg and gone on to win the league crown. Barcelona did it twice. Oh, he's got space behind well. him. Marcelo. Oh, yeah. Cross! And the right hand of Ter Stegen pushes it wide. Again, Marcelo waits for the exquisite moment. He holds, he hesitates until the arrival of Tony comes. But Ter Stegen again stretches his fingernails to deny. With the sprockets lined up on that one as German so denies again, German. Marcelo with his decision making, discounted if you like, is nothing. But I'm telling you, you see so many players just booted into the danger area and live in hope, but not Marcelo. He waits for a better combination, a better option, and it arrives here. Stop. Truly. Soft as a mother's kiss. The hit from Tony Cross. A good ball. Back across the middle, oh. but just too high for Ronaldo. Marcelo again, the prime architect man. The puppeteer of this Real Madrid side. 
Chris frames everything in front of him. Waits in one blink of his beautiful Brazilian eyes, finds that the options are covered on the inside, and that Tony's got a better angle to deliver a killer ball. The dark area rises like a salmon out of the beautiful fresh summer stream. He just misses the target. Down goes PK. Got hooked, and he's hurt. Actually, Busquets it was, as he tried to peel away, he might have pulled a groin muscle. He's fine. I don't think it's his um, groin there. It's a good whack through the standing leg, and that should have been called as a yellow card. Just a foul, says Hernandez. He was also in charge of the Cruyff Classico last year. And Real went to the capital and walked away with a 2-1 win. Alba wants it back. Iniesta finds the creative way. But offside the call. Well, he's got to take off like a bottle rocket here. And Iniesta just kind of deliver the pass quickly enough. He's already off to the races. Whoa, he's on side. Marcelo keeping him on. Certainly was. And a moot point, perhaps, is unable to swing that cross in. It's not true, Phil. You never know, even in an atmosphere like this, the raising of that flag from world-class players can be a distraction. But I think you're probably right there, especially in this atmosphere. Which Deaf in a bat. Well, it's the reigning league champion, the reigning cup champion. We're in the final again against Alaves, against the reigning European champion and the reigning world champion. In fact, you could say two, as Barcelona's world crown just usurped by Real Madrid a few months ago. Clever, unlucky. A good tackle by Luis Suarez. Okay, back to Ter Stegen, pressure. And he gives it away. Still 1-1, six minutes into the second half. And Hall with the afterburners. One back. Real Madrid just a step quicker. And Zama, three defenders to beat, top of the box. Sergio Roberto. Sketch with the quick feet. And a foul. Ramos not happy with the late call. And Hernandez not happy with Ramos. Busquets will always attract the challenge like this. So capable of getting it off of his feet. There's nothing there. Sergio Ramos is 100% right. He pulls out, if anything, of the tackle. Well, the ball's off of his foot. So little contact in. Slow motion replay shows it was wrong. Does step in, but doesn't seem to be any contact on Sergio there. Last year's Classico quickening the exit for Rafa Benitez with a 4 nothing thrashing at the Santiago Bernabeu. Which means Luis Enrique with a chance to do something only one other manager has ever done, winning back-to-back -back Classicos at the Bernabeu. Pep did it in 09 and 10. Ice from Marcelo! A kick save from Ter Stegen to deny Benzema. Again, Marcelo should be playing with a biohazard on his shirt. It's danger every time he gets the ball. Barcelona's got to do a much better job letting the Brazilian off his hook like this. A brilliant ball played in again. It's pixel perfect. What a save by Ter Stegen to deny the Frenchman. So Neuer do something similar midweek inside, and Suarez will clear. Rifle towards the corner. And Ter Stegen sweeps over, but Abahal's shot screws wide. Continual threat of a man I called the best player in world football right now. In many ways, Marcelo. Astonishing how much danger arrives. Go continually. Barcelona's got to do a better job on locking down 
on this left side. Look at that. Shots on goal. That was the problem for Barcelona against Juventus. And it continues to be a problem here today. Unlucky. Off the heels of Benzema. Okay. Busquets. Messi. Haven't seen much from Paco Alcácer as Alba. You're right, Phil. Very much in the margins of this game. And it's not as if he's waiting in the long grass. He's not looking to hunt and hit Real Madrid's back line behind him. There's very little invitational runs from Paco, and there's not a whole hell of a lot of options on the bench for Lucio Enrique. Well, I haven't seen much of Luis Suarez either, and you talk about the bench. Arda Turan returns from injury. They do have Denis Suarez, Dina Gomes, Oh, Mascherano and oh, Alenia. What a save. Marcelo does everything right. The Frenchman, Big Benz, oh. does brilliantly well. But then Testegen comes out with a full house. Great ball. It's from Rakitic, gets it back. In for Paco! Plays to wrong foot Taylor, who clears it away. Astonishing from Jordi Alba and Rakitic, especially a diamond of a pass. Who's very slack with his finish. A great save in the end by Kila Navas. But that's a, Messi. That's got to be looked at as a terrible miss by Paco Alcazar. Casemiro already with a yellow. Got the ball from that angle. Yeah, take a look at this brilliant touch from Rakitic. He sells it. He's got time and space. He stabs it up with his right foot. Maybe he should have came in with the left, but he goes with a toe poke, and it's never going to be Kayla. And that's a miss that would make Barcelona's fans cry and make an onion cry. Great save again from Kayla. Needed a big game from him, keeping his team in this match, just as Marc Andre is at the other end. Seven saves for Ter Stegen. Navas coming up big here. Messi from about 30 yards on an angle. And the free kick fails him. Talked about the bench for Barcelona. Look at what Zinedine Zidane has for Luis Enrique in store. Amos Rodriguez, Mateo Kovacic, Alberto Morata, Danilo, and Isco. In fact, a bench so deep, Lucas Vasquez doesn't even dress today. That is certainly going to have an impact on the way this game is going to be closed down, you would think. Both nice. teams putting in so much energy, but look out! Rakitic wins the ball back. Messi oh. for Suarez, but his stride guides it to Navas. Again, a brilliant ball from Messi, who smuggles this ball through a tiny window of opportunity. It's again measured down to a micron for Suarez, whose touch is as heavy as an anvil. And the chance goes a begging again for Barcelona, who are filling their pants, missing chances galore. Nacho over. Paco harassing. One back. Now Suarez. But nothing inside. Zero in the box. But they'll get a corner out of it. Again, Paco Alcazar, very static, not making any movement for Suarez once he gets it. Messi again, red carpet pass, creates passing lanes, he doesn't look for them. And Suarez again, just a poor, poor touch. 59th minute. Barcelona. Heading to the corner, only the second time. Got it! Oh! And then denied! Piquet stopped by Navas. Well, this is nothing less than a big bucket full of knuckles header from Piquet, who is absolutely dynamite with it. Rises brilliantly, punches it, and there, this green octopus called Kayla Navas reaches in and saves Real Madrid's bacon yet again. Wonderful feline like reflexes to punch it away. Taking a look at what re remains in the regular season, 
the next five matches. Of course, that Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. They do have the Celta Vigo makeup game as well in La Liga, which gives them a little breathing room. In some ways, knocked out of the Champions League gives Barcelona the ability to focus on the league title. Ball by Tony Cross. Good Ooh. ball in, but Ronaldo couldn't get there. And Cavajal just not able to wrap his right foot around this to pull it back just a couple of degrees. Again, Piquet rises magnificently under pressure. Great direction to his header. Fizzes it at the goalkeeper. A great header denied by a tremendous save. Real Madrid fans not too happy. They don't want Barcelona to lay back. Here's what Barcelona faces in their next five. The only other non-league match, the league or the cup final against Alaves. I'm of the opinion that despite what happens in this game, I still think there's one or two big obstacles for Real Madrid to get around if they do take the full points here today. There's some big, big games left for well, both of these teams, not just Real Madrid, that's well played Samuel. Nice by Umtiti, dummied by Suarez, either that or he took his eye off the ball. We have the remaining six matches in league play. Only one for Real Madrid is against a top nine team. And only one is against a team that's in the relegation race. Yep. Everyone else seems to be comfortably mid-table. Yep. Means have got nothing to lose and will come with the torpedoes. Chance now for Rakitic. Lays it off for Iniesta. These three points on offer today are unquestionably going to be a big, big shift of whatever pressures are ahead for these two coaches and all of the decisions that they'll have to undertake. Real Madrid get the three out of this, Phil. They're going to be able to take and rotate their players a lot better than what they want if they don't get the win. Two Madrid bodies down. Carvajal not happy at Suarez's attempt. And Hernandez refuses to be drawn into the fray. Well, there you go with the referees, the players speaking to him, of course, but the referee, I'm telling you, is an ex-player, the referee's speaking like he's Charlie Brown's school teacher. They don't hear him. They're just going, you're not going to pull a card? Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> Good run. <sighs> Asensio astride too early. Different look for Real Madrid when Asensio's out there compared to Bale. And they've got a shuffle it, haven't they? It gives them a wonderful different dynamic. It's not exactly the threat that Gareth brings. That's a beautiful first touch by Danny. Carvajal with some real estate in front of him. And he has to trying to cover. Good ball. Overlap is on. Modric in the box. Next Back for Carvajal. Cuts oh. to his right. And he who hesitates. shows you how difficult it is to control the ball into the run he's in just touched oh. away from Ronaldo again the prime architect the antagonist that is Marcelo says Valanos muchachos to this crowd he freezes Ivan Rakitic and then whips a beautiful ball again it's Marcelo every time that sets the tempo of this Real Madrid side like a Jamaican kettle drum band. Cross in for Suarez. That last replay showed Asensio might have been a little closer than it first appeared. Great rhythm from Real Madrid when this man's on the ball. Marcelo. Rhythm in his bones. Drawing Busquets away. <laughs> and then a lucky bounce. Now, when you're on, you make your own look. Maybe apologizing. Luca. Good ball. But it skips to the waiting arms of Ter Stegen. Undefeated in their last 21 at home. Wonderful intention to find Cristiano, who ghosts in beautifully, as is his want now. Leaving that wide position and just wonderful 
penalty box predator anticipation it's a good ball Suarez chugging to get there and playing it safely yeah. into the stands There's nothing on the outlet pass didn't want to take the risk of playing it down to a player in the white shirt with pressure on him so he uses his option of going all the way back to the keeper Sure, if it's Barcelona not looking or Real Madrid trying to mummify Messi, but we haven't seen much of the Argentine lately. Cleared by Ramos now to Messi. Roberto Rakitic, Messi poked away. Every time he touches Casemiro, ready to pounce. Ray looking at our keys to the game talking about how important Casemiro and Busquets are to the rhythm of their team which one has laid the better drum line well it's a debate isn't it because both teams have been very dangerous in their own way it's person Real Madrid that have been on the front foot for most of this game but certainly Busquets and Barcelona producing real threats on their counter they're not really striking it, their usual tumble dryer possession way, but both the pivotal players playing in the pivot position have been doing remarkably well. Again, Marcelo magic for Tony Cross switches on and he goes long. Great delivery from the German World Cup winner Asensio drives to his left, scoops it across. Overhead try from Ronaldo wide. Not many more that he's got to go for the impossible it's fading away from his head so that option's gone it's a little behind him but he's still got to try a magisterial switch of play here and Asensio sees the dark and Vera's check run right here beautiful rainbow pass it's behind him it's away from him it's an impossible height but for Ronaldo sometimes impossible is nothing good pass slicing it wide Alba couldn't get it past the first man. It was Nacho sliding over. He's talking to get to the exhaustion stage. Good hold up right. Asensio the slices through. Has Ronaldo across. Oh! And Ronaldo reaches back and touches it high. Magnificent from Benzema. Absolutely astonishing decision from Asensio. And then Cristiano slubby as a soup sandwich with his finish. He's well in. He's ahead of the play. The ball's played in. Very close, but the referee's decision comes up. Messi spinning away from Casemiro, who got what? a yellow in the 12th minute. Amazing lightning strike from the Royal Whites. And he has to outside of the boot. Suarez! But Navas to the rescue. Navas again makes his six yard box. His octopus is gone. Astonishing from Kayla. Wonderful lead up play from the illusionista. Astonishing ball with the outside of his foot. It's absolutely triggered home at full power from Suarez. That is a world class save from the Tico man. Driven from the corner, loose in the 18, pops up on Messi and Casemiro. Marcelo is there to clear. He's on rudimentary saves that this man is picking out. Navas, yes. absolutely jaw-dropping brilliance in the man in green. Vajal holding off Suarez, but surrenders possession, and now he's out of position. Busquets, as Nacho tries to cover. Messi. Freezes the Brazilian, rifles it to the corner. Navas again. Boot comes up from Carvajal. Play on, says the ref. Nice from Ronaldo, but it gets away. Good for Mumtiti to knock it out. Off Ronaldo for the throw. Again, he sees that the game through his kaleidoscopic eyes, but every time he's ahead of the ball. Full speed ahead, and this one 
is over the top anyway. It looks like there's going to be a substitution here. These players pouring every ounce of energy and extracting some absolutely amazing cerebral football of the highest order. That's prismatic vision from Iniesta, Phil. A couple of changes. Let's go to Jamie Easton on the sideline with more. Jamie talking about what will be one of the controversies afterwards. Good clear. Oh, Andre Gomes coming in for Paco. Meanwhile, Kovacic in for Casemiro, perhaps because of the yellow card. Andre Gomes got some defending to do with Asensio in that position. He's let him off the hook here. Draws Ter Stegen out, who smartly pushes it away from Ronaldo. As controversial as Luis Enrique has been in his reign, the man he has brought in as his first substitute has also drawn the ire of Barca oh, fans. He's in again. Lifted what? by Marcelo. Alba to clear. Some Real fans thought it should be a handball, but the ref with a good look. I see why. Andre Gomes for Paco Alcácer. Messi will probably push forward a bit more, and Suarez will run the center. Played Umtiti. Very cool at the back here at the day. Samuel Umtiti having a very solid game alongside Gerard Piquet, who's been his inspiration. Nice lead ball. Looking for help. Gomes to the goal line, but couldn't get much on it. Out of a howl, riding him out of play. Aldrich. Freezes Busquets, but Messi. Nice from Kovacic, his first touch. The ball from and a good Matthew. ball wide to spring Asensio. On his left. He'd take him on. One foot, nice but then a foot. Go. Down low, back, but per Ter Stegen down quickly. Pushing on the back of Samuel Umtiti, who's in full reverse. And wonderful cut away to the left side from Asensio, and then a bullet that again is... Just done enough to stay in to suffocate it. Thrills and spills. We've seen everything here today. Brilliant goalkeeping, Phil. Tremendous midfield prowess. Wonderful attack from both the magic men from Barcelona and Real Madrid. And still plenty of time for the winner. Real Madrid ball watching a bit. Busquets steps up, screaming for it, Alba. Suarez on the back post, if he can get it, it's Messi inside. Rakitic nice. with his rifle. Rakitic! Oh! oh! Left foot, far post! Barca's in front of the Bernabeu! Magisterial strike! Off the planet chart here! Oh! Golasso, asso, asso! From the Croatian! Off of his left foot! But turns into an absolute howitzer! No chance for Kieler Navas! The defenders converge on Messi! It's poked away then! He makes this space! Tony Cross is put on his back like a turtle! Right there! And then he curls it home with sweet precision! Ivan the Terrible creates magic and he vaporizes the Real Madrid defense! with a true Croatian golasso to take the lead. A first-class ticket punched. And this one, Kayla tries to reach out, but it's as elusive as a moonbeam and takes Barcelona ahead. Start of the day, it was Real Madrid with a three-point lead over Barcelona. Ronaldo at the edge of the 18. This would draw them level on points, and Ray, the tiebreaker in La Liga is head-to-head, -head. and with a win and a draw, if this would hold, Barcelona would end the day 
atop the league. But again, Real with a game in hand. Just enjoy the game, Phil. The future is for tomorrow. 75th minute. And Zama couldn't bring it down. Far from all that with these white shirts coming at Barca the way they have. But this place absolutely stunned by. If you missed Even it, Rakitic. watch it again. Facebook.com slash BM Sports USA. Driven into the center. Flag stays oh. down. Ronaldo down low. But Ter Stegen quicker. Another wonderful pass. Insightful, incisive from who else? The Brazilian man with the big bulging kaleidoscope eyes. Brilliant service from. Marcelo. Well, there is a saying that the Spanish papers love to use, Ray. And I have a feeling we'll see it tomorrow if this score holds. I Liga. There is a league. There is a race for the title. But there's still time for Real Madrid to put a point to it. Maybe man of the match honors for Rakitic, a goal and an assist on the day. Although the assist to Messi. His compatriot. Aldrich wide right. Going scrambling back on defense. Barcelona catching their breath. Forcing them left. And that's right to the buzzsaw that is Marcelo. Amazing from Real Madrid who poured so much into their Champions League game against Bayern Munich. Playing so fresh here. There's so much energy left in. And they are being fed the candle, feeding a flame from this crowd who still believes equalizers out there. And maybe the winner. to the Bernabeu sideline and Jamie Easton for Jamie. Yeah. 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 sideline reporter Jamie Easton. Benzema trying to sneak it in. PK got a boot in the way. It's a masterful measured ball by Tony Cross. Oh! Tripped up, Ramos, and he's gone. A red card for the Real Madrid captain. Alejandro Hernandez sees Ramos leaving both of his feet, I believe, and launching Bob Beeman style towards Messi. They pulled Casemiro because he was in danger. Instantaneously showing the red card without hesitation when we see it in replay. Is he anywhere close to the ball and does he have full control of this lunging tackle? If he comes in sliding through, that's one thing. If he leaves his feet like that, it's a complete other dynamic. He leaves his feet. There's no control of the tackle. And that is a leg breaker tackle. And you've got to say. Casemiro scissored him early. Marcelo's elbow opened his lips. And now Ramos with a two-footed lunge. Jamie Easton at the Bernabeu sidelines. This changes things. Oh. authorities about that gesticulation there was also towards the referee there was also physical contact with the referee not much but it does make things difficult for Ramos to appeal Neymar had his appeal dropped and is a spectator today and Ramos might be spectating for two maybe three matches down the stretch there 
what would be the game-winning goal that opens the league race wide open. He has a habit of changing games late. This one not in Real's favor. Heartening back to his first season, that goal from Ivan Rakitic, where he really did light it up for Barcelona. He's fallen away over the last season and a half, but that was an astonishing strike of demonic skill. Gomes inside. Piquet! Oh. And again, Navas keeps it close. Good ball for the Portuguese. No, oh, it's better than a good ball. It's a magnificent pass by Andre Gomes, who pulls it back into the heart of Real Madrid's defence. And Gerard Piquet does brilliantly. Beautiful give and go between Suarez and Gomes. Knifes it back. It's a superlative touch to settle it. But again, this killer Navas is a one-man wrecking crew with a human moving wall. Look out! Chance for the equaliser. Off balance, off target. Well, they're missing their captain and a center back. They don't have another center back on the bench. And Zidane is oh, putting it touch. all on the table what here. A beautiful ball from Suarez to Messi. Tackled away by Kovacic. What color will it be? And a yellow against the Croatian. And in you, he's got to bring Messi down because he's been emasculated by him with the first touch. Messi skips the leg. Fantastic pass. Maggio, beautiful honey drip of a touch. And then he knows full well he's got to stop him because he's got Suarez running in away from his defender right there. He has a wonderful touch again from Cristiano to try to arrow it back into the danger area. And that should have been a corner kick. And that's why he is screaming his verbals like Mussolini at the balcony. He was right. Thomas is in. Rodriguez coming in for Kareem Benzema. They Iniesta. do have Danilo on the bench. They could have put a defender out what there. What a game. Iniesta's head as well. Defying all of his critics that were saying that he's gone to sleep hitting the snooze button. He's been absolutely imperious in that midfield but there's so many individual performances on both sides of this match Modric with the foul Ray going with just Nacho Carvajal and Marcelo in defense does this put the bit tight in the mouth of Marcelo can they afford to send him up they've got to two one down and he's been the most advantageous attacker coming out of both the defense and midfield. Messi, Messi swivels to the inside. Again. Takes it, and again, novice to the rescue. An astonishing power on the run from that left foot Stratovarius. That is Messi. Sixth save for the Tico. Again, centipedes must fantasize about having one left foot like Messi. Here again, skips the leg, fantastic. Cuts in beautifully. Wing his options up, says, I've got this one, but Kayla says, not today. Down a man, down a goal. And now down from first place, if this score holds. Hesitate when Ramos lunged, Ramos lunged in. There will be some who will critique it, but I think he got the right choice, made the right decision. It definitely changes the game. Rakitic from the corner. BK nods it down. Oh, Brick. Gross and a chance with Barcelona. It's stretched forward. out by Spandex here. That's a good ball. Scrambling over is Hamas to get it. Barca back in numbers. Needs a special pass here. They'll keep it simple. Real Madrid has topped the table for seven straight weeks. Ball driven into the chest of Ter Stegen. They've only been out of first place two times over the last 20 weeks. Fresh legs and power coming on. 
of the ex-Envigado man. Takes a deflection, but just not quite enough to take it past the Stegen. Again, I remind you, only twice in history has Real Madrid lost the Clásico at home and gone on to win the league. They will also be distracted with those Atletico matches in Europe. 85th minute halfway done. Lionel Messi. He was supposed to be slowing down. Only 46 goals this season. Yeah, they said that the same about Kila Navas and Busquets and on and on and on. And they're defying them today. Real Madrid still here. Look out again. Good ball. It was on the left foot of Kroos, though. Too far from Marcelo. Oh! In front, one touch. We're tied. Hamas off the bench and into the spotlight. Again, the ex and the man. Colombiano brilliance. And a triple shot of Colombian espresso. Hamas arrives like a ghost out of a thick Scottish fog and produces magic. And it's a brilliant ball to fade him. This is an ace of a pass from you know who. Marcelo, one touch and then he fades it, curls it around. It's a bouncing ball, but the bouncing Colombian comes running in. And with that left foot, which turns into a hypodermic, the back of the net, past to Stegen, who's got no chance. Now that count Real Madrid out. They've proven it so many times this year. When they've been down in the last minutes, they roar back. Again, it's Hamas off the bench. For Zidane and the Madridistas. What a game. A bad giveaway. First Classico goal. It's a great feed. Got options on the inside. Opens the door for Asensio. Look out. Brilliant. In for Ronaldo. Back for Hamas. Tries to square. Second effort. Oh. But Ter Stegen back in time. Like there's an invisible force pulling the ball into this area for Real Madrid. Danger on the counter. Messi with the foul as he trips up Tony Kroos. Again, wonderful play by Cristiano. Just a split second too late. And that's an offside call. It's not given. Very close. Seemed to be a half a step offside. Torturous game for both coaches to watch, seeing all the big players, all the world-class players for both clubs shining, trying to eclipse each other, right down to the goalkeepers who have been absolutely off the charts here and given us one of the best classicos in my memory, Phil. And we've done around about 25 of these humdingers. And it would have been so easy for Barcelona. Some said they've already quit on the season. Some said they've quit on their manager. Real Madrid has a chance to oh, just let this one coast with their game in hand. From Gomes. Now it's Kovacic with Gomes giving chase. Ronaldo out wide. Thomas in support. Back for the Colombian. Lifts it over for Marcelo. But he couldn't get much on it. And slack defending from Barcelona in the midfield. Nearly pays the price. Eighty-ninth minute, halfway done. Is there a winner? Close. And split six. So much space on that right side for Real Madrid to attack. And they're playing a man down. Asensio from the left. Asensio! And now the 10th save for Ter Stegen. Again to the kid. Oh! 
Ronaldo off balance and his left foot can't turn it home. More than heroic from Real Madrid. As you say, playing with a man down, it's like they're playing with two men up. Very slack from Barcelona these last 10 minutes, allowing Real Madrid to come very much into this race. But here comes the illusionista still looking for glory. And some injuries, been some goals, but probably not much more than three minutes to be added. Lifted across, headed back by Marcelo to his netminder. The referee has stepped into the spotlight today. The red card to Sergio Ramos. Well, both these defenses been working harder than a one-eyed cat covering three mouse holes both ends of the field and have relied on their goalkeepers to bail them out so many times it looked as if both these clubs had massive opportunities to sink the Wales harpoon into this game but it's just been amazing just two ding dong football two minutes to play and two minutes maybe with the league title on the line if Real Madrid can come back and score a winner it's hard to imagine Barcelona catching him. Touchback for Suarez. If Barcelona gets a winner, momentum in their favor. If it ends level, Real still in the driver's seat, but the possibility remains. Then Tony Cruz finds a wide man. Marcelo wears up all the options in a nanosecond. And then the ex Envigado man produces a terabyte of skill in that nanosecond. Masterful finish. Sharp as vinegar. And the octopus goes disco. And if that goal holds to fight back for the point, it would mean Real Madrid has fought back for 20 points from losing positions this year. No one in Spain has been more successful coming from behind. Ronaldo watches it sail, asking his teammates to dig deep. Pressure in the Barcelona end. Roberto to Piquet. Busquets to Roberto. Did they gamble too much? The Champions League hero against PSG leading the break. Gomes looking for the overlap. Alba inside. It's Messi! Barcelona fans, an arousal 
that last for more than four minutes. So you better call your physician. Messi, man of the match, roars his man home. Brought to you by Hennessy. And boy, I have a feeling they will be celebrating tonight in Barcelona. Two, three, Barcelona on top.